You're mad because you're never, you'll never find another one like him. And you tried, you tried, and you thought. He's not in love with you, shorty. You need to get away from her quick fast and right. Anyway. And I'm so glad. I'm, and I'm really like, and I love that Garrett got his girl the promise ring. And I believe him. I believe every single word. He loves his girl. He loves her. He looking like he looking. This is him holding the camera to take the picture. And he's looking in the camera at back at her. That's, that shit is real. At 43 minutes, um, Serena fucking Kurgan is the shit bitch. Did you see her with the real girl? It's just like she even, she, uh, I love Serena Kurgan. And I love the way she look. How she met shit up. I just love her whole, I love her vision. Serena fucking Kurgan is the shit. And I like that with that red on. Um, and here comes Joe Shmo. So it's Serena fucking Kurgan and Queen Juliet. They sitting at the table talking. You know, the Queen rocks with Queen. And this hoe, Joe Schmo, comes up. Nobody fucking asked him. And he obviously don't give a shit about the Queen because he's going to say, oh, just leave Sam for me. Talking about being messy. Remember that shit from last, I told y'all, last episode. Okay? People don't forget. You said it, hoe. And ain't nobody, ain't no jokes. So they all sitting at the table talking to Joe Schmo. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo. I love this girl. This is Serena fucking girl. Um, <laughs> I'm going to watch that shit, y'all. She a mess. Um, but well put together, right? Um, fuck you, you fucking. Wait a second. You fucking fucker. You fucking fuck. Oh, wow. This girl is everything, y'all. All right, I'm distracted by Serena fucking car again. Um, get, get the stockings, y'all. Here comes Joe being fake, talking to Julia. And it's just like, bitch, why? Why aren't you talking to her? You're not, you're not a friend. You're trying to steal her, man. You would steal her life. You would steal her skin and put her on your face if you could. Bye. Um, and the only reason why you came over there is because cameraman there. You want some camera time. Bye. Keep your story to yourself. Nobody cares because nobody asked you, ho. Nobody asks about why you're this and this, that, and the third, and we assumed and this and this and that. Why don't you just tell people? Why don't you just tell people? Okay? Like, you're upset because people don't care. They already... Their friend group is already sold up. They grew up together. See, that's the thing. Ugh. This is not make, this is making me not like you, Joe. I could see if somebody asks. See, I would not. People don't have to put their sexual preference out there. People should be able to tell. People should be able to tell how you get down. And if they can't, maybe they just don't give a shit because they don't want to give you no ass. See what I said? I told you. I told you. Ass over it's Joe. You take it from anybody. Now we're supposed to listen to the story. Why? I don't care. Bye. You fake bitch. Cause you keep on trying to overthrow the queen. Her. Queen Juliet. Yes, bitch. And that's why you try to be up underneath for her. I'm not gonna like that photo, Juliet. You need to get away from you. Trying to overthrow the queen. So no. Nobody likes you. Um at 48 minutes. Dick slaying queen Kara. She's a queen too. She's the dick slayer queen. Okay? Slays the dicks. Anyway. Kara apologized to Kelsey. And this is ridiculous. Ke Kelsey is so salty. It's weird. Is she so salty about this goddamn apology? She's so salty about the situation still. That's really, really strange, girl. Like, it's like it hit you another one with Kara's voice. She took all the makeup off your face. It's just like you went from, you know, it's stages of this shit, right? It's like this girl. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to show y'all this shit. But she came through like the beginning of the conversation with Kara. Moments into the conversation with Kara. Still talking to Kara. 
Notice, notice, notice that notice is disappearing, y'all. See, it's just literally peeling off her face. Ah! She had died. She had died and came back to life. By the end of that conversation, she was just so exhausted. All her energy was drained the fuck out. Like she was just done. She is so salty and mad at all this shit. That, like she literally laid out every last insult that the girl had ever said to her over the years. Like, oh my gosh. Numero uno, numero dos, numero tres, cuatro tres, da 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 I can't talk with you anymore. Like, she was just like, oh, crazy, girl. And it's like, really, girl? Um, I told y'all, Kara, yo, Kara name be ringing in these hoes is like, Kara, like, you're waking up because of Kara. <laughs> Yo, the sun is the sunshine is brought to you today by Kara. <laughs> Take a deep breath, walk outside. Air brought to you by Kara. <laughs> Woo! And don't forget to like and share and subscribe to this channel because the entire idea was engineered by. Please vote for Kara. Thank you. Oh, so yeah, um, like y'all bitches are so bothered by her. I don't get it, but I kind of do. I think y'all bothered by Kara because y'all literally no match for you guessed it, Kara. There ain't no match for this hoe. And so at 51 minutes and 17 seconds, just like, okay, all right, all right, see, see. This bitch got on my nerves. They still talking. This hoe, you psycho. She better not be up here twice. Ah! Oh! Creep. Well, why do I just keep this creep up here like this? Cause she is a zombie and she weird. Okay, so um, this is what you just what you not gonna do, ho. You're not gonna tell a queen, not any queen or any friend of the queen. Okay. You're not gonna tell this queen or the queen. Okay. But this is what the fuck you try to do. You try to tell this queen. You try to tell her how to behave. Like like who is you, pirate hooker? Who are you, pirate hooker? Let's not forget. People don't forget. Okay. You're a pirate hooker. What is she at? You ain't take it down. You ain't take it down because you thought it was cute. Because you thought it was cute looking like a pirate hooker. Unless it wasn't on your Instagram and it's on CSP Instagram. But I think it's on your Instagram, girl. I could have went past it. It don't matter. We all know you're a pirate hooker. And I should have kept that picture. And if I see it again, I'm going to take a picture of it. I'll make sure it never goes away. I'll make sure it never goes away. If y'all if y'all find it, the picture of her being a pirate hooker, show me. Hold up, y'all. You are not going to do this. Wait a minute. Yep. So all y'all got to do is um, look, go um, look at my channel. Go back to my channel. Um, No corners and pirate hookers. It's on there. It's on there. Oh, it's on there. It's on the video. Because she did. She took it down. She took down the picture of her dressed up like a pirate hooker. I don't see it. But it's still on my other video. That's why I'm so glad I do this. And, because you're not, because people don't forget. Because you try to make us forget. No, we know you're a pirate hooker. Anyway. Um, so she likes to dress so, 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 so this pirate hooker tried to tell the queen that it's okay. Now, I, now I love girl, girl, and girl. I love Garrett and Girl Garrett together. Let's be very clear, Girl Garrett. We do not know you. We don't know you, ho. You got your face so far up his ass. We we, we don't see you. We only see Garrett. That's why you are. You don't have a own. You don't have your own thing in the show. You are Garrett and Girl Garrett. Y'all one entity. Okay? And that's what you're going to be. You're going to be his wife. So, you're not going to. So, no, girl. Don't try to. Don't try to have an appointment. Um, and I ain't talking about Kara. I'm talking about her. Don't try to have a personality now. That's right. Keep your eyes on the prize. And that's all we want to see is your nose up his ass. We don't want to, we don't want, we don't want to hear shit from you. And what you're not going to do 
is talk shit about a queen that you don't know. You heard that from a dude. At the end of the day, he's a dude. Okay? With a penis. And if he cheat on you or do something to you, you're going to be running to the whole girl group. You're going to be running to all of them, including this pirate hooker. And the dick slaying dragon queen, Kara. Okay? So, no. You don't get to call her. So, I'm mad at this hoe because she tried to say... Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm losing my voice now, I guess. I don't know why, because I guess I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to draw women, y'all. I need some water. Because I was drinking this, um, Angostoria, Sorrel, and Bitters. Mm, it's not alcoholic, though. Yeah, but anyway, um, so yeah. What's I saying? I just don't like the fact that she tried to sell, um, she tried to sell Kara, um, that it was okay for this whole. Cause yeah, now you a hoe. Cause you don't you don't pay judgment on females. You don't know them. You need to go by your own account, not by what the dick not not what the dick told you. Cause the dick talks to you. The dick do a lot of things to you. Okay, so you're not supposed to do that. You don't base character on penis. Okay, especially somebody else's character via somebody else's penis it makes no sense. Uh uh, you 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 loud and wrong, and that's that knocks you off of your queendom. Okay, um. So she tried to justify this hoe calling this queen a condescending bitch. Wait a minute, you don't know her. So why'd you call her a condescending bitch? She ain't even, y'all need to have no interaction and that's and you just going to name call? Because she said honey. Okay, I don't like people calling me honey either or whatever. But here's the thing. If you say, if you say honey, honey to me or whatever... As a woman, as a queen, I'm going to let you know, like, if I have to interact with you, then I'm going to let you know once. That's that's about it. All right? If I don't ha have to interact with you, I'm going to politely smile and I'm going to vacate you from my premises or you're going to be, uh, vac like I said, you're going to be vacated from my premises or I'm going to vacate from the premises. Okay? That's just what that's going to be. I'm not going to sit there and tell anyone how they're supposed to act. And I or, or call them a name. I just met you. I don't know you. It's not my place to call you a condescending bitch. Like I don't know that of you. I know that you use a word or a term or whatever. Maybe for a couple just in the third. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. And I'm gonna let you know what's going on. Ho. But to call her a condescending bitch based on a based on another person's experience and account, and then that person being a man with a penis. And then his account being because they were in a relationship. Like, girl, you was wrong, 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 girl. Bye. Girl. No, girl, girl. No. We don't like it over here. Um. No, so, so I just didn't like that. It just, and it, and it seemed like the Twilight Zone. So to say that Kara can't refer to her as honey initially, but this girl can then say, secondly, oh, you're a condescending bitch. Like, it's just like, girl, you got it all fucked up. It's all backwards, loud and wrong. Um, And let's just shout out to Kara again. Kara is gorgeous, by the way. I'm just, she talking to her. And I love something about this girl's skin. The undertones, yes, it takes a tan. Like, she not, I don't believe she all the way European or something. Because something about her skin, it, see how her skin gets dark? It gets dark. It don't get red. It don't get orange. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this girl. But she's still white, though. You know, she's still, like, very European looks. Like, just a white girl, I guess. Um, but she is so cute. It's something. It's something. of Is she Polish? I don't know how that goes. Um, it's something about her actual skin, yo. Like, it looks so soft and smooth. And then it's, it takes the tan so well. And um, I, and I think probably to be around her, it's she probably does that same thing. She probably gives off such a vibe, and um, I think people can feel it. And I think because the women can feel it, they may um, they know that the men can feel it, and it makes them uncomfortable. I have to, I have to tell you, even kind of the way that Juliet looks at her is kind of like, oh, I got my eye on you. You better, you better, you better have your eye on her, cause Kara, ooh Lord, because while you bullshitting. 
Why do you think she's there? If don't nobody like her but you, girl, she wait for you to get drunk and her to be up late night with Sam. Talking about she made a mistake. Hold up, y'all. So, 56 minutes, Kelsey. Um, Mike Mitchell. Girl, Wayne Mitt. Tell her she better leave Queen Juliet alone. Okay? This is why the swimsuit shit is going down. This is why. Listen up. Listen up, Crazy K. Everything you think about is going to cry. Don't do it, miss. Uh-huh. Let him know. Everything you even think about is going to fail. Ha <laughs> ha! Motherfucking right. Tell her, boo. Tell her, Sally. You heard that shit now, didn't you, demon? Everything you touch, everything you do, everything you think about gonna crumble. Gonna fail. Unless you leave the damn queen alone, okay? Because you too focused on beating the queen instead of competing with real top designers. Which your damn ugly ass wanna be. This is not even, girl, this don't even give me rainbow. Dumb, dumb sweet suits don't even give me rainbow. But I mean, you know, because I mean, I don't know. But could you go, could you, could you could you skip Rainbow and go to Target? Maybe. Who cares? I still wouldn't buy it. Um. And like I said, I still wouldn't buy it in Target. And they, and they not slick. They not slick. Nothing. Like, see, you simple. <coughs> you should have came out with a Tomb Raider uh, bathing suit. And, 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 and a bloody scary one. And a bloody scary one. Stick to what you know, creep. Anyway, this pirate hooker. Or like I told you, like I told you, think pirate hooker. The next, the next time you go to the, go to the drawing board, think pirate hooker for the blueprint. Okay, and it'll come out slick. At 50 minutes, um, Kelsey declined a drink. She declined a drink, and this is all that was left. First, it was a bunch of people. It was like this. They were going to do the photo shoot like this. As soon as she declined to drink, all that shit fell apart. It was only her. It was only him and her left. She declined that goddamn drink. It all fell apart. I told y'all, this is not the group. Don't fuck around. If you try to tell them drinks ain't going to be around, they going, whoop, got to go. They don't be playing. So it fell apart when she declined to drink. Camilla walked away. Maddie Face. Maddie Face decided. Wait a minute. Where she at? I miss you, Closters. I'm really about to put a Maddie face. Like, change the name to Maddie face, girl. And, yes, this this is what a mess. <laughs> so, at what a mess minute, um, she declined to drink. See, it's just, it's all she leaves in it. Oh, oh, so this, y'all can't find this in Target? Y'all can't find something better than Rainbow? Oh, all right then. Um, she declined a drink and everything fell apart. Camilla walked away. This one walked away. Um, this one decided that it was a perfect time to confront this one because she was tired of wiping all her damn dirty looks off her face. Cause you know what I mean. She was like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, bitch. I ran out of Kleenexes. What? What's up? What's the problem, man? The panda." So that's how Maddie was like. You know, Maddie was like, "I'm tired of this shit." Um. Amanda went all full blown. Lilo and Stitch on her ass again. She went all Stitch. Her fucking makeup is about to start peeling off. Okay. Um, Crazy K. All her, all her makeup is, is is in a pile in the sand already. She didn't have her. She's been melted all the way down. She didn't melt it down. Okay. She didn't melt it down to the point that she didn't gotten delirious. She's delirious in this house. Um. And she melting down because she lose because the sun is leaving her in the darkness where she belong. All the while the Chester cat is sitting over here, good fucking grinning, bitch, grinning and winning, bitch. So like I said, y'all, y'all just letting the whole kingdom get invaded with all these, all these, all these stray Chester cats, and they just gonna set it ablaze, boof, and keep on walking. 
and and I'm just just like I, I'm just like why ain't it y'all and that is the secret sound I love y'all don't forget about the 150 subscriber giveaway chair we almost like we had we got 50 subscribers when we need to sign more y'all all right boo and uh -uh. y'all can dm me at consumer arena on instagram if y'all you know you know what i'm saying if you got something you want to say you can drop it down in the comments and if you don't keep it short and sweet then i'm gonna lay your ass out long and heavy love your love and your hate because over here us crystal ballers and yes the cars we self-appreciate mm-hmm mm, bye, -bye.